Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. So today I'm gonna to show you all how to get down and just a little bit dirty, just a little bit, just a little bit using activated charcoal. If you're not familiar with what activated charcoal is, it's an all natural ingredient that you can easily incorporate into your everyday beauty routines with tons of benefits, tons. You can use it to treat acne, you can use it to detox your skin, whiten your underarms, you can even use it to create your own mascara and eyeliner. It's all the rage right now for all the right reasons. So let's go check out three of my favorite ways to use activated charcoal charcoal. The activated charcoal I'm using today is by Star West Botanicals. It's a four ounce pouch that I purchased on thrivemarket.com for about $10. It also comes in the form of a capsule or in a plastic container as well. One of the amazing capabilities of activated charcoal is tip whitening. It's a really simple process. All you have to do is dip a clean wet toothbrush into the powdered charcoal and remove any excess from the brush. And remember, you're gonna wanna pull your hair back for this because it might get a little messy. Lean over your sink bowl and go to work. You wanna brush in small gentle circles for about two minutes before you rinse. No, it's not a pretty process, but it definitely gets the job done. Your teeth will feel amazingly clean and after just a few uses, you will have noticeably whiter teeth and a stunning smile, I promise. Next, I'm gonna show you how to whip up an amazing detoxifying face mask using, you guessed it, <laughs> activated charcoal. You wanna start with a small glass bowl and add in two teaspoons of water. Then you wanna add in one teaspoon of bentonite clay. I'm using Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, which helps to attract, trap, and remove toxins from the skin. Then I'm gonna add in two drops of tea tree oil or any essential oil of your choice. I'm using tea tree oil for its ability to purify the skin. And now for our main ingredient, activated charcoal. When you apply activated charcoal to your face, it will help to absorb toxins and impurities on your skin. Winning! And a little honey will help soothe and soften the skin and is antibacterial for anyone suffering from acne or blemishes. Okay, there we go. And after we get all the ingredients into the bowl, I'm gonna use a wooden or plastic spatula to mix everything together. It will be a little lumpy at first, so you wanna take a few minutes to be sure to get it mixed really well and thoroughly. This recipe will actually make enough for two masks, so it's perfect for a girl's night or for a couple's face mask if you can talk your significant other into doing it. It's a lot of fun. All right, once your mask is mixed, you wanna apply it liberally to your face. Again, I'm using a concealer brush to apply the mask. You do not have to, you can use your fingers as well, but that can be a little messy. So I just prefer to use a brush. Okay, all done. You wanna allow it to dry for about 10 minutes and then we're going to remove it with warm water, but not before I tie back this hair because there's no way I'm getting my hair wet. It's dried on pretty good, so it may take a few splashes before you get it all off, and then you can remove the rest with a warm, wet towel. Okay, and all of the clay can be a bit drying for some skin types, so if you'd like to, you can follow it up with a little bit of oil. I like to use sweet almond oil. You can also use your favorite face lotion or moisturizer. Now for the finale. This exfoliating activated charcoal sugar scrub is super easy to make using only three ingredients. You wanna start with a small glass bowl and add in a half cup of sugar because every sugar scrub needs what? Sugar. <laughs> then you're gonna add in one tablespoon of activated charcoal. 
our main ingredient tonight. And last but not least, I'm gonna add in 1 8 cup of coconut oil. This coconut oil is by Nature's Oil and it's 100% pure extra virgin organic coconut oil. I purchased it on bulkapothecary.com, which is one of my favorite websites for any of my natural ingredients. Then you just wanna use a plastic or wooden spatula to mix until you get a nice smooth consistency. And this recipe actually makes more than enough, so I like to take the mixture and store it in a small glass jar with an airtight top. That way you can use it more than once. You can also add a few drops of essential oil if you'd like to add a nice fragrance to it, or if you prefer, you can just leave it unscented. And in lieu of the shower tonight, I'm just gonna show you really quickly what it looks like here on the back of my hand. So I'm just gonna wet my skin first and apply a little bit of our sugar scrub. And what this is going to do is just exfoliate the skin and remove those dead, dry skin cells. And that's it. These are just a few of the ingredients that we use tonight, Smiley's. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please be sure to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Love you. Mwah.